Hey, it's Ted McGrath again with Rise Global, where we help entrepreneurs and coaches turn their passion into a profitable business. And I'm here to talk to you today about part three of the video series here that we are creating for you in the Escape Dates community and really helping you own your world and live life on your terms. And so step three, or part three of the video series, is what I call the breakthrough experience. To me, this is the most powerful part of the uh, passion to profits breakthrough formula that I've developed for myself and we use with our customers. The breakthrough experience is so critical because I believe to get to the next level, everybody has to make a breakthrough. And if we're not breaking through, then I don't think we're growing at times. So I wanna share this formula with you because it's near and dear to my heart. It's a scientific formula that has helped me with uh, addictions and, and solving my demons and problems with alcohol. And it's also helped me from a relationship standpoint, interestingly enough, this actual process helped me get into a relationship about uh, four or five years ago uh, when I hadn't been in a relationship for like five or six years or at least a serious one. And I got into a serious relationship because I was open and I opened myself to that through this process that allowed me to deal with a lot of things I needed to deal with internally. So I wanna share it with you right now because number one, it can help you tap your potential and realize your potential in your life and your business. Number two, it can help you tap your inner core of who you are and bring yourself out more to connect with other people and get in great relationships, whether it be romantic or just personal relationships with other people. And then number three, I mean, this is an amazing tool to help you solve your problems and turn them into amazing solutions that will unfold in your life. So I'm gonna share with you just uh, three steps to this process right now. It's a 12-step process, but I'm just gonna go through three of them because you can use this every single day. And step one of the process, it, we say it's, it's about going to a peaceful place. Now, this, this isn't some woo-woo process, it's actual science. And at the end of the day, I believe that when we're present to our lives and when we're in the here and now, we can accomplish anything. And when you're present, you have an amazing, amazing power. And to do that, sometimes we need help. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do is something that all the major athletes in the world do. Uh, in fact, I have the privilege of having a relationship with uh, Jeff Spencer, Spencer, who's a coach to Lance Armstrong and his coach Tiger Woods and so many of the other greats in the world. And one of the things that I asked him, I said, what's the difference between uh, the performers, you know, the guys who finish number one and the guys who come in second place? Because I don't want to come in second place, I want to come in number one. And he says it's simple. He says, when you get to the finish line, Ted, or you're about to cross it, and you look at a Tiger Woods or a Lance Armstrong, he says the difference between them is, you know, everybody has a natural physiological reaction in their body. It's just human nature. If you're a human being and there's a big moment that's about to take place and you don't have a physiological reaction, you're six feet under, right? So human beings have a physiological reaction in the body and the mind when something big's about to happen. He says the difference between the top performers and the second placers is really simple. When that physiological reaction happens, the people who come in second place are the ones who label it fear. The people who come in first place realize, wow, something big is about to happen. I need to channel this energy in a directed, focused way that's going to get me to perform and accelerate and win the match. And so the way that you do that first and foremost is the first part of our step where you need to focus in on your breathing to get present. So the breathing aspect of it is just breathing in through your nose for two seconds, holding it, and breathing out for four seconds. Do it with me right now. Breathe in through your nose, hold it, out for four. Just notice how much more present you are right now. So you can begin to feel that in your body and then you also need to go there in the mind. So going there in the mind is now I want you to imagine going to a peaceful place right now. Could be a sunset, could be a waterfall, a favorite place from childhood. And as you're going to that peaceful place, focus in on your breathing, in through the nose, hold it, out through the mouth. Notice that. Notice just the presence you feel now and go there visually in your mind where you're on that beach or you're in that peaceful place and notice what you're feeling in your body right now and notice the calmness you're feeling in your mind. How amazing do you think you can be from this place where you're this centered? Anybody who's ever been successful in anything knows first and foremost you have to be centered. 
So stay in this place of being centered, this breathing and in this peaceful place. And now I'm going to take you to step two. Here's where it gets great. Step two is you're going to invite your best self to join you. Now, what does that mean? If you tell a five-year-old child to be his best today, he knows what his best self is. Now, he may not always behave that way, but he or she knows, right? So what I'm going to have you do right now is I want you to imagine, you know, while you're in this peaceful place on this beach and you're focused on your breathing, I want you to imagine you at your best coming towards you right now. I want you to imagine you more inspired, you more passionate, you more caring, you more vibrant, you more dynamic, you more loving, you more prosperous, you more healthy. Imagine you at your absolute best showing up right now. And this image could show up as you. It could be a symbol that represents you. It could be a color that represents you or many colors. Whatever it is, have your best self come toward you right now in this peaceful place. Imagine it happening. Notice how powerful you feel right now. Notice what you believe is possible right now. When you're in this space, notice how the mind chatter just goes away and notice how centered you are and with that focus energy, what could you accomplish in your life? When you're operating from your best self, what becomes possible? If you do this every single day, I want to challenge you right now to do this every single day. And if you do this every single day, you know what will happen? Number one, you can ask your best self questions. Now this may seem strange, but it's not because you communicate with yourself all day long. In fact, you have a conversation going on in your head all day long right now, and maybe perhaps that conversation isn't the conversation you want to be having. Maybe you need to have a different conversation coming from your best self, which is going to serve you the most in your life. And top performers do this. So you can ask yourself questions. You can come from the space. Every morning I ask myself these three questions. Who am I? What do I want for my life today? And what is my purpose? And as I go throughout my day, these answers show up. Now they may show up in that moment, or as I go throughout my day, people, resources, opportunities will be attracted to me where I go throughout my day and my life begins to unfold in the way that I want it to. Now there's nine other steps to this process to where whatever your problem is right now, like I, I shared with you, this helped me solve my alcohol addictions. I've helped people you know, go from you know, where they are in business to where they couldn't turn on the gas in their house and now they've built six-figure businesses in the last nine months. I've helped entrepreneurs who are already successful in the last three months add another $300,000 of revenue to their bottom line. I've helped athletes go from not pro to turning pro and winning eight races in a row. This process has been the foundation to help people break through. Because if you're going to live your passion, if you're going to turn it into a profitable business, you have to be able to break through and solve the problems that you're not solving right now. And I have a scientific fact for you. Whatever your problem is right now, the solution is already within the problem. Scientifically speaking, the problem is driven by its potential solution. The problem shows up because there's a solution in there. The problem is trying to get your attention. And when you can come from this place of your best self and you can look at problems as opportunities, as solutions already being within them, you can unfold the potential of life and when anything's thrown at you, you can see the good, the opportunity, and you can see the power in being in your best self and owning your world. So I wanted to share this with you, and I know that you'll implement this tool every single day. And when you do this and you show up as your best self, you'll have so many relationships within the Escape Dates community that will be attracted to you because they'll want to have an ongoing relationship with you because of who you are, because of who you're being, which is your best self, and that's who you are. So from my best self to yours, it's been a privilege.